Today we open the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Dimension Force. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have two boxes of Dimension Force, if you guys haven't seen. This is the set with all the crazy Starlight errors where they were pulling four Starlights in one pack. If you guys missed that video on Rux and Life, go check it out. I talked about it, but it was pretty wild. Hopefully that doesn't affect our boxes and cases we have today and uh, in the future. Before we get into it, we will be giving away every card pulled in this video. So if we do pull four Starlights per pack, you guys can win them. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite card in this set. I think Ghost Bell has a good chance to be a lot of you guys' favorite. So let's see what we can pull out of two boxes. I'm pretty excited. Okay, let's get into it. I did pull up the price list, which you, as you guys know, it's before Friday when everyone can sell. So we all know that, well, at least most of us, since I've said this every single time we do a new video on a new set, they can't sell the cards or at least everyone that's not a store owner cannot sell on tcg player yet so there's tons of inventory that has not been listed so don't freak out about any prices yet let's see what we can pull these packs feel very is it what these packs feel extremely tight like there's no room like you know there's fat packs these are skinny packs like these are really skinny packs like they barely fit the cards in there that's actually insane okay that's weird we got a backup team let's see what we got we got the buy list these do feel like grand creators people were saying these feel like grand creators and that was where they had those like double collector rare errors and uh here you have like quadruple starlight errors so it makes sense it might have been the same place that had this huge mess up so that's pretty uh, not looking good for them <laughs> okay yeah this is extremely weird how like tight these packs are like it makes them really easy to open though which is cool so we got the we got the buy list again we got the uh, therion duke all right the blue devils therion stand up so i guess therion are they new completely Weather forecast, because I've never heard of them. Pendulum scale. A little dark in here. I'm turning the light up. There we go. I like that better. A little bit easier to see. For some reason, my voice is very deep today. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we got the Devouring Sarcophagus, the Vivid Tail. Oh, and there's our first ultra rare, Starving Venom, Preta Plant, Fusion Dragon. So Starving Venom has another. I really don't like the way these cards feel, to be honest. They feel weird. They're very like... I don't know what the word is, but they're very like... Uh, it's like matte, kind of, but like not in a nice way, okay? So there's our first ultra rare. Pretty cool to see that, Starving Venom. I've learned recently that Starving Venom reminds me of Super Poly and that Albaz is just basically a bunch of Super Polys on a bunch of bodies. So <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. It's a... Uh, not looking good for me when it comes to Hartford. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. War Rock, because it seems like Invoked, not a good option. I don't know what I'm going for. So if you guys have any suggestions in the comments, you know, what I should play, let me know. Something preferably that I already have, which is not much. So uh, let me know. Let's go. We've got the uh, the Mad Mauler. We've got the uh, General Probe, the Crow Tengu, Therion Stand Up, and a Motor Frenzy. And also preferably Branded Loss, more branded stuff. Preferably something that I don't have to learn completely by then, because... I'm, let's be real. I'm not going to learn it by then. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. General Probe, we get the reverse jar. Oh, look, a new jar card. What does it do? Okay. Change as many other monsters in the field as possible to face down defense. Then return as many face up spell traps as possible from the field of the hand. Then each player can set spell traps from their hand up to the number returned to their own hand. Okay. Interesting. Reverse jar. Cool. That's a new jar card. We get the Changshi, the Spiriado, the Spiriadi. All right. So, a new jar card in Yu Gi Oh! We love to see it. Cyber jar, morphing jar. Fiber jar, um, morphing jar number two. You know, there's a lot of jars out there. Pot of greed is not a jar, but there's a jar of greed. We got the uh, Performa Pal Gintrude. Okay, so so far just one hit out of our box, which we should be getting four total ultras and two secrets, assuming we don't have any Starlight Error packs, which would be nice. I'd be down for that. Scareclaw. We got the uh, Parsimonie. Oh, a secret rare, Psychic and Punisher. Anytime there's a Psychic card, I just assume it's not worth very much because I don't remember Psychics ever being good, and I'm pretty sure they haven't. Well, that's a secret rare, though, so that's still pretty cool. According to this, it's about nine bucks, which means as soon as the set releases, it's going to be about one buck. That's what my guess is. <laughs> Backup team, we get the Predaplant Buy List, Ice Jade. We get the Amphibious Bugroth. Oh, look, Amphibious Bugroth got, it got another one. That's pretty cool. And Illegal Knight, so back-to-back -back secret rares. I think this one might actually be okay. This one, it says, is around $17 and $19, so this one might actually be pretty decent. That's pretty cool. So another secret rare, very cool. We got back-to-back -back secret rares after getting zero at the beginning. Let's see what the other rest, or the other half, the other rest, doesn't make any sense. Krotengu, we got the Therion, Ichiroku, the Curse of Dragon, the Magical Knight Dragon. Wow, not redundant at all. Very cool card, Ancient Warriors cards, and Yummy Rakko Toad. Yo, okay, I didn't say that right. Continuing. On our second box, let's see what we can do. Divine Dragon, we've got the Scareclaw with the Heroic Champion. 
We got the Ice Jade, Libra Mancer are prevented. Okay, the Therion and the Branded Lost. Let me know in the comments, how do you feel about this new set? Are you excited about it? I mean, after Goats from the past two, it's hard to get really, really excited about something because that one was so fun and so awesome. But I am still excited about new sets coming out, and we will be doing a live stream for these. Another Curse of Dragon, the Magical Night Dragon. Very cool, very redundant. We love it. And hopefully this live stream will be Friday or Saturday this week. That's the goal. I would assume that we should get them by then. Devouring Sarcophagus. We got the Vivid Tail. We got the Battle Guard. Cadet. Formal Pal. Lady Yang. Very cool. And the Symphonic Warrior rocks. Okay. Yeah. We, we got to pull that Ghost Bell this weekend whenever we open them up. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully we don't get cases that are, you know, of course, emptied of starlights. I'm hoping that that crazy starlight error was just a one-off thing and they actually ended up printing the rest of those. But the chances are pretty high that there are going to be cases with those starlights, like extra cases. Because the Romancer displaced, very cool. There's already cases with no starlights every time because they're one every two cases, basically. Now it might be one every ten cases or twenty, or, you know, you never know. Because they pulled 2,000 starlights or whatever. So that's really going to lower the amount of total starlights if that came out of the pool, which is pretty scary when it comes to uh, value for the set. You know, when you're opening up a case, you kind of want to have a chance to pull a starlight. Therion, oh, and we just, uh, Rex is special right to the Exo Sisters. Magnifica, very cool, very nice. That one is a starlight, I think. I think Tombox pulled that one. Very nice. Or at least, uh, I think it was his wife, actually. <laughs> Let's go. General Probe, we got the Crotin, we got the Therion, stand up, the Divine Dragon, uh... Titanomachai, the Sylvan, okay. I'm saying that completely right for sure. All right, so the last couple times I have gotten from my locals, these these early boxes, we have done pretty good. And uh, last time we got a Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl, so let's see if that can bless us with a Starlight in one of these boxes. That'd be pretty sick. The Chao Sai. The irony of that is I usually give away the box, you know, from my locals. And I didn't last time because we got our cases early, so then I opened the, the cases instead, and then we opened the box later, so I didn't give it away and had a Dark Magician Girl. So, you guys could have won that. Hate to break it to you guys, but um, I did pull some other ghosts for you guys to win. <laughs> Therion, Scareclaw, and we got the Scareclaw Reichhardt. Ultra rare. Very cool. He's got, uh, it looks like this is on his head, but I don't think it is. It's actually like a tail or something. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see if there's anything else in this box. Could be a Starlight. Let's see. Mad Mauler. We got the Parsamina. The Navy Dragon Mech. Very cool. And the Sunlit Sentinel. Two more packs. What can we pull in this last two packs before the final box? Vivitail, Crotengu. Oh, Ruxin Special. Right past the Yusuka, Lord of the Eight Thunders. And the final pack of the box. Here we go. Let's see. Scareclaw. We got the Heroic Champion. The Ice Jade Curse. Amphibious Bugroth. And Therion across. That's okay. Let's go to the second box. Open her up. Let's pull something amazing. Like a starlight. All right, next box. Let me see if I can show you guys. You guys see how these packs look? It like how tight they are. They're wrapped right around the edges. There's no like circular like motion to them because they're just like wrapped right around the edges. Branded Banishment. Oh, I think this is the crazy card. Like Call of the Haunted or whatever. Yeah, this card's pretty insane. So that that's going to be an interesting one. You can bring back a level eight fusion monster from the graveyard and then you get to fusion right after that's pretty insane my friend was telling me about it with the warrior dj and the primitive planet reich phobia that's an ultra rare our first hit of the second box let's see if we can get a starlight in this one let's do this guys here we go we got the the noah punk deer note so okay that one's got something on it although we got it off that is the second ultra rare right off the bat okay we're starting off with ultras left and right can we get a secret rare can we get a starlight rare I mean, I think we can get a secret rare. They're usually guaranteed, unless there's something crazy going on here. We got the uh, Therion Duke and the Immortal Dragon. Okay, that's pretty scary. He's immortal. He's a dragon. Got to watch out. A few packs left. Not really a few. A lot of packs left, actually, but in the second box. But you, don't forget, you guys can win all the pulls in this. If you guys want, just make sure to enter the giveaway. Like the video. Be subscribed. Turn on notifications. Leave a comment. Scarecrow, arri Scarecrow Arrival. And by the way, if you do want to buy some of this set, check out Sassiato's listing down below. You guys can use my code RUXENFORCE to get 5% off. And you guys can grab an epic set of cards. Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon. Let's go. And this is like, wait, what is this? Is this a, a ritual? Wait, what? It's a ritual. That's crazy. I've never seen a ritual pendulum before. I mean, I've, there probably has been one, but this is cool. I don't see it anywhere, so I don't think it's very good. But I mean, that's a pretty unique card. I haven't seen a lot of ritual pendulums. Actually, I might have seen zero. I, there could have. That could be the first one. I don't know. Therion Duke at the Ice Jade Curse, the Preta Plant, Libromancer Bonded. Very cool. And the uh, Musical Sumo. Let's keep going. One secret down. 
Can we get a Starlight? That's what we really want. General Foe, we got the Preta Plant. Etherion, the backup team. Heroic Champion, very, very cool. All right, all right. Next pack, let's go. Let's do this. And by the way, we will be seeing some PSA returns maybe tomorrow, but if not tomorrow, soon. Very epic return, let me tell you about that. I mean, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but very epic return. I don't know if that, I don't know if that's enough, but yeah, let me just tell you, it's pretty epic. You're gonna want to watch that one. We got the reverse jar again. We've got the uh, Therion Bull War Rock Medium Scarecrow Clash or Slash. What does Slash mean? Woo! Let's go! Let's do this. Let's pull something good. So far, pulls have been pretty average. We're looking for something good. Backup team. We got the Symphonic Warrior Navy Dragon Mech. Very very cool. Next one. What can we pull out of these very tight packs? <laughs> Scareclaw, Devouring Sarcophagus, the Krautingo, the V-Land, the Performer Pal, Gintrude. Another super rare. That's not a secret rare that we're looking for. The one that we're looking for. We got the Vivid Tail, the Krotengu, Ice Jade Curse, the Heroic Challenger, Chow Sai, the Ghost Stopper, the Branded Loss. Very cool, but not what we're looking for. Give us a Starlight Rare. Here we go. Symphony, Heroic Champion, Scareclaw. Battle Guard. Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. That card's sick. That's a nice ultra rare. I love to see that. You love to see those epic old school cards. I mean, not old school. I mean, Red Eye Zombies are not that old, but they're pretty classic, you know? They're pretty cool because Red Eyes is old and then zombies are awesome. So they seem classy to me because of uh, Duel Links. They were pretty popular for a while. Scareclaw. We got the Zombie Reborn. Another cool zombie card. That's pretty sick. We'll pull that out. I'd say like eight packs left. We're looking at about a third of the second box left. Can we pull something epic? Therion, Divine Dragon, Duke, Ice Jade Curse. We got the Odd Eyes Wing Dragon, the Omega Judgment. Okay, Omega Judgment. It's judging us. It's saying, you know what? You're not going to pull any Starlights today. <laughs> Hopefully not or ever, but uh, yeah, that might happen. Predator Plant, we got a Mad Mauler. We got the General Probe. We got the Okay, I give up. Let's keep, let's keep going. That's way too difficult to read. Come on. Come on, guys. You know Yu-Gi-Oh! players don't read. Konami, this is your fault. Why would you put something that hard to read? Reverse draw. We got the weather forecast. Cool weather stuff. And uh, where's that second secret rare? Let's go. We got six more packs. I said eight like five packs ago, of course, because I'm always wrong about that. We got the Therion Duke, the Scareclaw Alternative, the Scareclaw Balloon, the Motor Frenzy. That's a super rare. Predator Plant. Ambulomelidus. Oh man, they really just they really just want us to learn how to read and it's just this is just too hard, you know. You gotta start small, you know what I mean? War Rock Medium, Devouring Sarcophagus, Scarclaw, Alternative, Scare like I can't even say Scareclaw right. I mean, how am I supposed to read something appropriately? Four more packs. What can we get? We got the War Rock Medium, the Vivid Tail, we got the Symphonic Warrior DJJ. The DJJ, that's funny. Chang C the Spirado. Alright, we're still looking for that second secret rare. We don't have a starlight yet either. I mean, not that we were gonna get one, but I'd be down to pull one at the you know last pack. Maybe it's Bug Ross, Symphonic Warrior, DJJ, the VLAN. And the Weather Painter Moonbows. So that's another Weather Painter card. And it's an ultra. It's not a secret. So last two packs. Is there a secret rare in here? Let's hope so. Let's see what we can do. We have Devouring Sarcophagus, the Crotingu, VLAN. Hero Challenger. Oh, and a secret rare. Vsauce Star Frost. All right, Vsauce Visas. This is like a credit card or something. What's going on here? We got a, we got a new credit card, Star Frost. Very, very nice, I guess. That one's around 12 to 16 bucks, so not bad. A decent card. Last pack. Will this be a Starlight? Let's hope it is. Predator Plant buy list. We got the backup team. We got the Predator Plant Trantis. Therion Bull and the Extra Pendulum. So no Starlight in that one. But that's okay. That was an alright opening, but we will be doing more in the future. And if you guys want to buy some, check out Tassiato's link down below. And if you want to win the giveaway, make sure to just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and leave a comment down below. Shout out to CCG Trust Guard, Stone Flow Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Dax Stream, Lucy Jr., Barding, and Tai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald 87, John Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. See you guys next time. Peace.